This was the moment the Milligan family boat was left spinning out of control. It was at Padstow in Cornwall in May last year when they were enjoying a day by the sea. All six members of the family were thrown into the water. Nick and eight-year-old Emily were killed when the vessel ran over them. Mum Victoria and four-year-old Kit suffered serious injuries. The two older daughters suffered minor ones. Today, the official report into the accident concluded that Nick Milligan had lent over his wife to take control of the rib and powered up to guide the boat away from a beach, an action that tipped everyone overboard. Unfortunately, the kill cord, which should have stopped the engine if, as, as, as the driver leaves the helm, was not being worn, and so the rib continued to circle over the family, and, uh, the, the, resulting in the tragic death of two and, and two, two other family members being injured. Kill cords are standard issue in smaller open boats designed to be simple and quick. Well, this is the kind of rib that the family were in at the time of the accident, a vessel capable of doing more than 40 knots. Now, each time these kind of vessels go out, they should have a skipper attached to one of those kill cords so that he or she is put out of action. This is what happens. The engine cuts, but not everyone supports calls to make them compulsory. We don't believe that legislation is the answer. We believe that making sure that people are aware of the hazards and better educating, better promoting the use of kill cords is the way forward. Today, the Milligan family released a statement saying, we are still coming to terms with this tragic accident, which has left us without Nick, a loving husband, father, son and brother, and Emily, whose life was only just beginning. We sincerely hope that awareness of this accident will mean that another family does not have to go through anything similar. The family had been trained before using their vessel, but today's report says kill cords should become second nature when taking the helm of powerboats. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News.